To test your coins by measuring its dimensions, you'll need a digital caliper and you'll need to know what the diameter and thickness of your coin should be. Here on the channel, when I showcase a coin, I put the specs, including the dimensions, at the end of each video. Another quick way to find what a coin is supposed to measure is by looking it up on numista.com. As with every other testing method, when you test for fakes, I highly recommend simultaneously testing a known authentic for comparison. As you can see here, the diameter on both the genuine and fake is correct. But when we measure the thickness, the fake coin is too thick. Keep in mind that fake coins made to the correct diameter will likely measure quite a bit thicker than they're supposed to. But this test is not foolproof. That's why it's very important to always use multiple testing methods. The dimensions test usually goes hand in hand with the weight test, because when you test a fake, if it measures accurately, it will likely weigh less than it's supposed to. If it weighs accurately, it will likely measure larger than it's supposed to. This is because the materials used to make fake coins are less dense than silver or gold, which means they take more volume to achieve the same weight. As a side note, it's interesting that the official thickness of the Morgan and Peace dollars is listed at 2.4 millimeters, because I found that the average thickness at the rim is closer to 2.8 millimeters. I can only get close to 2.4 by measuring the lowest areas of the design. When measuring the thickness of your coin, be very careful not to scratch your coin with the metal calipers. In my experience, the diameter of a coin is usually a pretty consistent measurement, whereas the thickness tends to vary more, even on genuine coins. That might be due to the minting process or simply wear on the coin. So slight variances in these measurements are acceptable. Be sure and watch the other methods for testing your coins here on the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.